Hey guys, it's uh, Ryan live from Unbound Fishing. I am just reporting to you guys here in the sound room. As you guys can see, it's mostly done. Uh, and even look at this. Uh, the computer, the mini computer, I just got it working. As you can see, it's actually playing some video right now. I know it's probably kind of hard to see from this angle, but it's, it's, it's performing really well. It just gets a little warm sometimes, but isn't that crazy? This mini PC is powering all this equipment, and soon... We'll be getting in a uh, studio condenser microphone for this uh, this uh, stand right here, essentially. And we'll get that in probably somewhere near the end of this month, if not somewhere uh, in the middle of next month or early next month. Either way, that studio condenser microphone is coming really soon. But yeah, I'm just really happy. I got everything hooked up. It's working. And the mini PC is running really dang well. And it's, as you guys can hear, it's totally silent. Like, it doesn't make any sound. It is a completely fanless mini PC that has, honestly, a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, I guess I'll just say a lot of computing power. It has uh, 16 gigs of RAM. It's got uh, 500 gigs of SSD in this tiny little package right here, which is absolutely insane. It's better than quite a few laptops you can get nowadays. I know you can get some pretty beefy laptops for like several thousand or at least a couple thousand dollars, but like, I, who has the money for that? You know, who, who has the money for that? When you can get a mini PC for basically less than 300 bucks. And this guy in particular was like only, uh, this guy was only about $240. So money well spent. That and we also got the uh, Focusrite uh, Scarlett uh, audio interface device. We're going to hook that up to our USB. Uh, not our USB. We're going to hook that up to our studio condenser microphone here. And uh, I'm probably going to hook up these headphones to here, too, just so I can get some better sound quality from the uh, computer. But, um, yeah, it's looking really good, sounding really good. And, um, oh, and I figured out what the sound problem is. So the sound problem is actually coming from this floor down here. Ha, 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 ha. As you guys can hear, there's quite a bit of an echo. So, ha, 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 ha. But yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to get a thick rug. We're going to place it over all this stuff. And uh, I've already tested it with some rugs before, and it does seem to work really dang well. So uh, as soon as those rugs come in, we will get this place basically fully, I guess, matted, basically. And the room will be basically fully sound dampened by that point. I might get a, um, oh, I might get a welcoming mat for the door, for the little door area right there, you know. I might just get a welcome, uh, welcome mat right there just to help uh, buffer the sound a little bit more, just to dampen everything a little bit more. But um, with that one rug we place right here, that will basically complete uh, the sound dampening. Because uh, I realized that um, basically what's happening is when I do any voice acting and it hits off this monitor, ha 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 ha, ha 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 ha. Uh, especially when it's facing directly at me, it will bounce towards this back mattress and then it'll hit the floor. And then it just keeps going, basically. So it's producing a lot of uh, reverberations and a lot of echoes. But I've managed to mitigate that uh, mitigate that by uh, basically turning up the uh, monitor up in this direction, basically. Just slightly tilted, and that, that makes a huge difference sound-wise. That actually helps dampen the sound a lot, because that way the, the sound just doesn't come back directly at me. It goes, like, more upwards, which uh, the room can handle much better. And uh, that, and when we put the rug in, that's going to make a huge difference. So, yeah, it's coming together really nicely. I'm really happy with how it's turning out. And um, thankfully, because I've made it so far with the sound room, tomorrow I'm going to get started on the new Takashi webcomic, The Mouth of Hell. Look forward to it soon. Hope you guys stay inspired.